physical therapy y'all physical therapy all right y'all i am out of physical therapy and i am busting the move here Harris Teeter because your girl wants some brown rice sushi for lunch and it has been a request on the Lady T cessation so I'm gonna eat that with some low sodium soy sauce so let's get it and I need to get a other some more little couple other things I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some uh, cucumbers now y'all know I normally get my stuff from Wally World but since I gotta come here go ahead on and get it from Harris Teeter. And I got on a cute little outfit today. Workout. All right, y'all, let's go in here and get what we need to get so I can get on back to the house. Y'all, the groceries are outrageous. This bag of sweet butter lettuce, which is good, I love it. $4.99. freaking 99 And it's right at six ounces. I just can't do it, y'all. I just can't do it. Yeah, I'm gonna give me some tomatoes, but look at these. I've never seen these type of tomatoes before. Wow, look at the look at look at how they isn't that pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna stick to the rivers and lakes that I'm used to and get me some Roma tomatoes. <laughs> You know what, y'all? Actually, no. I'm going to get me some of these. I love eating these when they have them. And you just plop them in your mouth like grapes and eat them. So I'm going to get some of these. $5.99 for this uh, whole tray. All right, y'all. Let's head to the sushi bar. To the sushi bar. To the sushi bar. Do y'all make yeah, sushi in the brown rice? We do in the morning. On the top shelf, we have all the brown rice that we have left from this morning. Like the one that's all the way under here? Okay. Right, let me see which one I'm going to get, y'all. Brown rice. This is it right here. Brown rice. This is lunch today. Brown rice. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go get some almond milk, and that's it. Just had to get a few things. And that's all I'm gonna get. So let's go get the milk. try their Greek yogurt. I'm gonna just grab one of them, just see how I like it. Y'all know I love strawberry yogurt. I'm gonna get one of these. Cause they're not with 79 cent a piece. Ooh, I do like blueberries. Let me get, I'm gonna get one of each. Y'all, I want you to look at this. Three bags, $34. And the only thing I didn't show you, I grabbed some creamer. This is supposed to be a good creamer because it don't have oil in it, so I'm gonna try it. Um, Yeah, $34. I feel like I've just been robbed. 
I'm, 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 I'm being serious. Thirty-four dollars. All right, y'all. I had to take that vest off. It's kind of warm. It's like already seventy degrees uh, already. Um, but yeah, y'all. I'm here to tell you. I'm not. You know, I come over here to Harris Teeter. You know, for specialty items that I know Food Line or Walmart don't have. And they they have some good high end quality type. You know. Um, is that better, y'all? Fix y'all. Fix y'all. Um, yeah. But you know what? I put these out today trying to be cute, but they're annoying me. They're annoying me. They're annoying me. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go. No, nah, I'm gonna go down this way. These, these people are probably thinking, "What is this heifer doing?" <laughs> Ain't no heifer. I'm gonna go this way, but um, y'all, when I tell you, I feel like I need to come back and step into the light. Cause whenever that woman said thirty four dollars, I said, "Huh?" Not to her, but in my in my mind, cause I'm thinking. Well, again, when you get certain items like the sushi was almost seven. Those tomatoes were six. Let me, hold on, hold on. Do I need to look at my resort? Dog, I stuck it down there in the bag. I'm assuming those tomatoes, because won't they $5.99, y'all? And Lord knows I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining, I'm venting. There is a difference. <laughs> but no, seriously though, y'all, do what? I mean, wow. And like I said, I know food prices are through the roof. I'm just telling you, I, that was a shock. Because granted, I understand you can't get a whole lot, a whole lot for $34, but I, I think I would have got at least six bags out of Walmart for $34. And then I got two, okay, I got regular unsweetened almond milk. That was three dollars, and then the chocolate milk. So the six dollars. So yeah, you know, I did get everything I got was five dollars or more. So every item. So you figure five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. So six items, except for the yogurt. You, the yogurt was the only thing that was seventy-nine cent a piece. So that's that's about right based on what I got. But still, it'd be like, well, are you kidding? Anyway. Thank God I was able to get it because I needed it. I got it good. But yeah, y'all. I, I, and, and all jokes and seriousness, seriousness aside, I do pray because you know, you know, a lot of I don't know how many people have filed their taxes, but a lot of stuff that you that was like during COVID, the different tax credits for families and and, and food and all that, they done cut that out, honey. They done cut it out. So I pray that all your needs will continue to be met. So it is what it is, y'all. It, 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 we we are no longer in yesteryear. Uh, and then eggs, eggs is almost well they are. The eggs that I buy are seven dollars, but. I have to limit my egg intake because they are high in cholesterol. So I have to um, no more than four eggs per week, regular eggs. But egg whites are better. So I'm gonna go on and when I finish up the eggs, cause I almost I got like eight legs eggs left. I'm gonna finish those eggs up, and I'm only doing like two scrambled eggs a week now. Now that you know, that's one of the things my dietitian was telling us in our class. You need to limit your egg intake no no more than four a week so anyway um and y'all know that's my get down my two scrambled eggs but you know i don't do I, I actually wasn't doing that but maybe maybe every once in a while it'd be three days a week but most of the time it was two days a week 
but yeah I'm going to switch over to egg whites I'm gonna buy the 100% all natural egg whites I ain't buying all that and see it won't be as expensive uh, as getting those whole pasteurized eggs but nonetheless nonetheless so I'm going to switch over when I finish up these eight and yeah but now today the class was excellent too because and I do like going to the grocery store after I go to my, my um, PT class because they always give us handouts on uh, food swaps. So today we learned about the different food swaps. Like instead of using butter, use this. Instead of using mayonnaise, use avocado. And some of this stuff y'all may already know and have heard about. But I love the fact that it's in a list where you can just use it. And a lot of that stuff I've already gotten acclimated to using because I just realized I had to change the way I cook and prepare food. And so anyway, a lot of that stuff. But I do like having that at my fingertips. I keep all my stuff in the photo right nice and neat so I can always go back and re reference it. And once you start doing it, you'll know you don't use butter. You use your olive oil or avocado type oil. Um, you just find things that, or you know, if you do use a butter, you get a health, a healthy heart, or balance, a smart balance. You know, you just or or plant-based butter. And you have to read the labels too. So that's really helped me learning how to read labels and just getting all this information for your own knowledge and knowing what works for you, what what your doctor told you works for you, but. Anyway, that's what we uh, learned and talked about today. It's the different uh, healthier swaps for your heart, you know. And, and some of the swaps were not bad. It, I mean, at least for me, in my opinion, based on what I'm already doing and based on what, and I'm like, okay. Because, see, I, I, can, I can do that. Now, one thing about me, one thing about the avocados in, in, in lieu of mayonnaise, I'm a just type of person that I don't I don't eat stuff that requires, for instance, me using mayonnaise a lot. Now, when I'm doing my tuna fish, okay, yeah, I like I use vegan mayonnaise. That's what I forgot to ask her. But again, since I know the not, I just gotta read the the ingredients. I know what is good for me, so as long as I know the ingredients in there, I should be straight. But Again, it's a swap using an avocado or even Greek yogurt. Uh, my dietitian, she was saying that she'll put in her plain, just plain Greek yogurt, she will use onion powder, garlic powder, turmeric, and she'll chop up some chives and use that as a spread versus mayonnaise. And I thought, you know what? I can get with that. I can get with that. I can. So the, those type of swaps. And, you, and it's healthier for you. So I was like, okay, I can give it that. I can give it that. I can give it that. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. The next time I make a, a batch of tuna fish, because I haven't made the batch of tuna fish that I said I was going to make this week, but, you know, I probably, I can still make it the weekend. I'm going to get some, um, whether I do it this week or next week, I'm going to try doing it with the, uh, with the plain Greek yogurt. I'm going to try that. And what I'm going to do first is just do a little bit to the side and add a little bit of tuna fish in there. And like I would normally, you know, just do like a, you know, a small, maybe one or two tablespoon try out just to see how it's going to taste. Because, you know, your mouth is used to eating a certain thing a certain way and tasting a certain way. But sometimes we cut ourselves short because it sounds different and a little bit wackadoo when we hear it but go ahead on and try it and mix it up and you may not even really tell the difference you may not can even tell the difference it's just psychologically you're thinking ooh this is avocado ooh this is Greek yogurt and not mayonnaise dukes Hellman's that is and so you, you just automatically shun and shut, shut it down but then you go ahead on and try it, mix it up, and you be like, okay, 
know what? Okay, I can do this. And then you 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 immediately switch. And then the blessing is you learn that wow, this is so much better for my body. So I'm here for it. I am here for it, honey. So anyway, y'all, again, y'all know how I do I job jack and like to share. But yeah, y'all, um, I don't know. When I get home, these two, these two bad boys might get pinned to the back. Or um, I got one of those uh, bandanas. And put that bandana on and uh yeah, do it moving because the air, you know, is these wispies are touching my face and touching my yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, and I feel like I keep wanting to do this. I know, I know. But anyway, y'all, that's it. That's all today. Um, I'm headed back to the Hacienda. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm praying uh, for, for, for folk with these uh, prices and whether it be groceries, gas. I mean, it's, it's real out here. And so um, do the best you can, y'all. Do the best you can. Use wisdom. Plan your meals the best way you can. So, you know, mm, Cause it's just, it's just, it's just me, it's just me. So, honey, I can imagine if you got two, three, four, five more miles to feed other than your own. But I tell you one thing, I can say with me eating more healthier, some things are a little bit more expensive. But because what I'm eating, although it seems minimal. But because of all the nutrition I get from it, I don't have to eat a whole lot. I'm getting the nutrition I need for the day. I'm getting my fruits, my vegetables in, my grains, my fiber, my protein. I get I get that water in. So you have to look, I look at it that way, you know, because I do my nuts. I'm just getting getting more healthier things in. Um, by doing it this way and so I don't have to buy a whole lot and I don't have to eat a whole lot because I'm getting the maximum nutrition out of the minimum of the grocer groceries that I have to buy neighbors walking but uh, anyway y'all let me get on it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood which be I Oh, to be my neighbor. Anyway, love you. Mean it. God bless. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. Bye, y'all.